Good morning. This is Butterfly with the Veterans on Patrol. Um, we're running on a skeleton crew. Thank you for Chris and Teresa who have been running nights. Uh, some scared little babies came through the hole. Uh, a scared mama and her son came through the hole. It was cold. It was 2 in the morning. Um, unaccompanied minors, most of them. Uh, they just, like I says, one mama and all scared to death and trying to hide. He was able to recover them, love on them, give them, him and his wife, uh, do the best they could to, to help them. We are hard pressed down here. Uh, these babies coming through, it's hard to see. It's frustrating, as I said, that we don't have enough people down here to be here for all these children that are coming through, that we don't have enough people to make a difference, but to just have them go through us and, and continue on in the traffic line until we get more volunteers and more churches involved and, and people who care about child sex trafficking. Just like I said, if, if you want to do something about trafficking, then uh, they walk up to you right here. Little babies walk up to you. It's defeating. It's hard to see. Thousands of kids have come through these holes unaccompanied. Uh, babies with babies. Um, it's hard to watch. It's hard to be a part of. You never feel like you do enough and can never have enough people down here to make a difference. If we could have 45, we could plug these holes and, and uh, start making a huge difference. Um, the more the better. Anybody that shows up here, God uses. God's used just me being down here for weeks by myself. Um, at least somebody was here for these children. Um, I know there's there's a lot of questions about if it matters what we're doing. Yes, it does. Uh, if, if it's just the minimal that we're allowed to do, at least we're doing something. These are children. These are children being trafficked on your tax dollars. And uh, we're not getting a lot of people who are trying to do anything about it. But we do have another volunteer here. We got, we got, uh, I'm always careful about saying names unless they want their names known. Um, and we've got a couple more that are coming on Sunday. Praise the Lord, a husband and wife. Just like I said, even families. Can, uh, um, get involved. Hold on, I got Border Patrol and some illegals at home run. Hello, hola, hola. Oh, no, that's Border Patrol visiting with Mexican Border Patrol on the other side of the wall. So, hopefully something's getting done there. Um, I leave them to their business unless they invite me in. I respect that these agents with the Border Patrol are doing the best that they can with what they're allowed as they're red taped and, and uh, held back from doing the job I think most of them would prefer to do. Okay, so I wanted to give you that update. We still got babies coming through at night. I have one husband and his wife that are doing night ops every single night. I'm doing day ops every single day. We got another man down here. He is handling uh, uh, other things. He just got here, so I have to go into town. I'm, I'm praying that we've got some children's Bibles uh, at our UPS box because we're completely out. And we need some motion lights. Um, I'm gonna see if there's a couple up at camp. We just, we're, we're, we got five holes. But we're able to cover one with as many people as we have. We're, we're trying to receive as many children as we can. Uh, we're trying to make sure to get their intel, that little phone number, that little piece of paper that they have with a phone number or just a, a family number or something that so we can uh, check up on them. Uh, we give them Bibles and stuff with numbers inside so they can call for help. Um, these kids are most likely heading to trafficking. This has been going on for years. Um, 
the last administration was getting intel and attempting to do something about it when they realized it's easier to become a sponsor to these kids in it than it is to get a dog to count. I'm gonna lose you. Um, and then these kids go missing um, within, they'll get to their sponsors and then a couple months later they're gone. They're just gone. Um, they're not findable anymore. Most of them, very few of them in Jesus name end up with family. Um, but even then, uh, go, getting through the cartel and, and uh, these uh, facilities, they end up staying in. They're, they're, they're most likely raped, abused, used, muled. Um, one way or another, these kids don't come through the same way. Um, some of them are just are trafficked and recycled and trafficked through again. We've seen them a few times. Um, we need more people doing something. I don't... I understand that you may think that you can't account for anything, but I'm going to go back to what God's told me. He's been very clear. When I said, God, what am I doing here? What does it matter? And he said, daughter, keep your, your boots where I planted them. And I'm doing that. I'm doing that. And I'm asking you to do it too. Um, I know a lot of semi-truck drivers in these convoys are scared to come down here. Uh, I know that uh, some people have different issues. The main issue that we have here is children are brazenly being trafficked they're walked through the hole in the wall and then your tax dollars pay to take them to their next trafficking location they're being I, I don't know how many times I have to say the horrors these kids go through um, sex trafficking is a big trade organ harvesting with these children um, there's been a lot of satanic ritual sacrificing of these children uh, pedophiles it's easy it's easy for them now and we're ignoring what's going on uh, I need missionaries, I need churches, I need people to stand up and help these kids. My phone number, I have no problem giving it out. I have no problem with you giving it out. Any intel, anybody who's interested in coming down here, please, please, please do. If you're disabled, you can just sit in your car and watch a whole um, hand Bibles out of your car to these kids. Or they'll come walk right up to you. Sometimes, unless the cartel has them run, they, they, they usually do what the cartel tells them to do. Um, they act the way they're supposed to act. Um, they, it's hard. Um, I listened to last night, Chris and Teresa, I saw them this morning, and they talked to me about last night, and these kids that came through and were scared and were hiding, they were little children. Even 13 and 14, little preteens. I don't know how old your kids are, but imagine if uh, they were stolen from their home and then walked through a dark hole in the wall into a country they don't know so they can be trafficked and used. Uh, a lot of people have their kids missing from the front lawn and that's what's going on. It's making its way up here. This is the front lines. So that said, we need help. Please, please come down here. Uh, there's millions and millions of people in America. There's churches. We don't have one church down here. Even y'all talking about your politicians and, you know, I don't have a politician down here. I had one come down. But, and, and actually uh, maybe do a little bit of work as far as he could to make a difference. I uh, appreciate that. But I don't see anybody down here. I don't see anybody down here rolling up their sleeves and helping these kids or making a difference in their lives. I'm sitting by a hole receiving these kids. If all they get is a minute of getting cared for in a Bible, let them know Jesus loves them. And uh, put a little smile on their face in, in the middle of the, the terror they're living through. That's something. But with enough people, we could do way, way, way more than that. We have properties. We have places we can take these kids away from their situation. We can find our own sponsors. We can help. We can help. We need people to advocate for these kids. So God, help us as a nation. We have allowed this to go here. We have done what we've done. And these kids are, uh, are paying the price. Now it's time for us to stand up on behalf of our children and put a stop to this, whatever it takes. I know there's some good Christian truck drivers that might uh, 
come down here boldly in the name of Christ and help me plug some holes and light this wall up and say enough. I know there's some churches that can stand up and say, you know what, we're gonna, we got some guys here that could come down. I've had families sit at holes. I've had uh, men, women, I've had anybody sit here at holes and receive kids. There, there's other tougher stuff. You're survivalist. You could go out into the, the terrain and uh, get get intel and watch these uh, coyotes as they run these drugs and this fentanyl that's killing our babies. Uh, find out where drop-offs are and, and what's going on. We get enough intel, maybe we can do something there too. But, but we have to take our country back and uh, it takes us to do it. So I need you here. Veterans on Patrol needs you here. God's calling your heart. I know he's calling your heart. So so answer that call. Uh, Lord, give him strength to realize, God, that you you have a plan and a purpose for all of us. And, and we will stand in front of you and you will say, child, what did you do about it? Let us stand boldly before your throne and say, I showed up and made a difference. And I trusted you and had faith in you, God. To the best of my abilities in Jesus name amen God thank you for salvation on all of us thank you that we know that that the God of Abraham who came down in the flesh in the form of Jesus and lived with us and died for us and shed his own blood because that was the only way to pay the price for our our hatred of God that we we sinned against him and threw him away and and wanted to be our own gods and you gave us a way, and there's peace and love and hope in that way, even in the midst of the storm. Um, that you, God, are taking all the pains, all the PTSD, all the hurts, and you are, are sharpening them as tools so that we can stand strong and trust in you. Um, we are in a corrupt government. We are in a corrupt world. We are seeing a lot of pain and hurt. And God, we need to just drop what we're doing and say, what do you need us to do, God? and do it and do it with all the faith that we have because we've walked through so much already what what is dropping everything and trusting you uh there'll be email address i'm on telegram i'm on youtube i'm i hit as much media as i can happy to be on any radio shows and share intel let's get this word out let's get boots on the ground down here i'm at the pima county arizona Mexican border wall. Um, I have two cartels that are dumping children and then our tax dollars are paying for them to go to their next location which is usually not Annie Am and Uncle Bob and freaking uh, uh, Kansas. It's it's child sex trafficking. It's organ harvesting. It's, it's things you don't even want to consider especially if you have children of your own. When you're down here and you see their eyes it becomes a lot more real. It's very hard to see. You got to have God with you. You have to have the strength of God. You are standing against the devil himself who does not want this child sex trafficking stopped. He survives on the blood of our children. This is how our society is so corrupt. The blood of our children is, is what our government is foundational on. Um, it's been bought and paid for by, these, by this innocent blood and it continues to pour. As long as we're not doing anything about it, it continues to pour. So God's calling you. I'm here. Call me. I will answer the phone. I will talk to you. Uh, I'm happy to do whatever I need to do to get you here, America. In Jesus' name, amen.